Lieutenant Galloway, would you follow fire and rescue with the weekly reports? Uh, as of today, we've had a total of 11 calls. Nine were emergency, me via emergency medical calls, excluding vehicle accidents. Uh, there were one public service call and one burn permit was approved. Uh, we do want to try and stress to everybody about the burning. Even though it's been raining a lot, it's starting to dry out pretty quick. Uh, so just be sure that they make contact with us and, and the proper permits and all are given and inspected before they start burning stuff. Uh, once again, I've kind of heard some stuff going around the county about individuals burning uh, or finding uh, old wiring and hydraulic hose and different things like this. Uh, and they're burning it to get the copper and the metal out of it. Uh, this is not an advised thing. Uh, it is under the uh, Alabama Department of Emer uh, Environmental Management. Uh, it is a no-no. And so we urge anyone within the city or if you know someone outside of the city that is doing this to please find some other way to do that. Because uh, it is a serious thing and it can be result in fines uh, pretty stiff fines for that, so please don't do that. It was the craziest thing. See, my wife's a flincher. <gasps> but it's okay. The one time I could have used a heads up, I... Bam. I was putting on lipstick. The well, good news is, Alpha has the largest customer service team in Alabama, so you'll be dealing with people here, not all over the country. <gasps> oh, sorry. For a plan built just for you, contact Keith Bryan in Eufaula. Um, also, we are uh, getting ready to start another one of our schools here soon. Uh, so we're asking anyone that may be interested in becoming a firefighter to come and see us and talk to us about it. Uh, they can make contact with me at 687-1238 and uh, we can kind of give them a little heads up on what's going on and try and get them so they can start to work on that. Uh, we're planning on starting in February and uh, I know that seems like a long way off but it'll be here before we know it and there's a lot of stuff that has to be done in order to get them ready for school. So uh, if they will, just please give us a call and we'll try and let them know what's going on and. Uh, how to get a part of a self-sponsored school. So, other than that, that's about it for the fire department today. Sure, the Corey's by name is Lucky, and the reason that calls me Lucky is cause I got all of this money. And the reason I got all of this money is because I sells me gold on Dale Road. Sell your gold on Dale Road. Sell your gold on Dale Road. Mr. Pond buys gold on Dale Road. Mr. Pond buys gold on Dale Road. Sell your gold on Dale Road. Sell your gold on Dale Road. And that's all, folks. <laughs> and that's all. <laughs> Good morning. Larry Hubbard, Fall Police Department. And I'll be doing the crime report for the period of July 29th through August 1st, 2013. During this reporting period, we have a total of 32 arrests, 23 traffic, and 9, nine misdemeanor or felony. Investigated one accident, um, issued 67 verbal warnings, 11 written warnings for traffic violations. On our traffic arrest or tickets, in the last seven days, we had 12 for speeding one for running a red light, one driving while suspended, one driving while revoked, three seatbelt violations, one improper equipment violation, one for loud music, and three for insurance. On our misdemeanor arrest, we had two for domestic violence, one for assault, one possession of marijuana, one for contempt of court. Felony arrest, we had two for possession of controlled substance, one for, for possession of a forged, forged instrument, it's going to be one of those days, and one for receiving stolen property second. On our offense reports, we had domestic violence on Southall Avenue between boyfriend and girlfriend. Possession controlled substance times two around Highway 95. 
uh, criminal mischief third uh, around highway 30 two tires were cut and it's three different vehicles tires were cut on the same area these three ports a burglary and theft uh, Deerfield Drive this was in a parking lot I'm, sorry, I, I'm not confused. sure um, Yeah, it would be a has a unit number mm -hmm. on Highway 30. Um, I don't know if it's that trailer park or, or what it is. To be honest with you, I, I don't I'm not familiar with the address. Mm -hmm. But I guess several cars. Yeah, cars and it's were damaged. It's the same location, same unit number. So. Uh, and most of these were tires damaged. Mm -hmm. Was that? Yes, ma'am. Intentional, you think, or does that seem intentional? Or maybe. Um, yes, it would have been intentional. I'd look at what type of damage it was. It was the craziest thing. I was just driving along, and this squirrel came out of nowhere. The good news is, Alpha has the largest customer service team in Alabama. So you'll be dealing with people here, not all over the country. Awesome. Really not a scratch on it. You are lucky. For a plan built just for you, contact Keith Bryan in Eufaula. said burglary and theft on Deerfield Drive that uh, may not have been it may be something that's been misplaced it's a, it's a pistol with some uh, accessories on it but if it is located we'll, we'll clear that up and we're investigating as a burglary all right we got one juvenile report it's a domestic violence criminal mischief around the Gamage Road area. Um, looks like father and son, son being the aggressor, being the one that did the damage. And the right. son was the juvenile? Yes. Well, we have a juvenile arrested for domestic violence, criminal mischief, same case. On our adult arrest, we have Terrence Dawkins arrested, domestic violence, third degree. With Teresa Peterson arrested, possession of controlled substance and possession of marijuana. Ronald Johnson arrested, possession of controlled substance. Akia Williams arrested, possession of forged instruments, second. James Porter receiving stolen property, second degree. And Tricia Richardson arrested for assault, third. And Teresa Peterson arrested for contempt of court. And that is all, folks. On the accidents, that's the uh, only one that's uh, been finished and turned in. There may be several more because I know it rained pretty good, so normally we have more than one. So mm -hmm. the next accident report Monday may be a bunch. Mm -hmm. Um, were there any reports yesterday over um, on Sanford Avenue about flooding that the police department got that you know of? The only thing I heard yesterday were, were our patrol supervisors monitoring different areas. I never heard that uh, any call-ins or okay. you know, anything like that. Because it rained hard for a short period of time, so I think it was okay. Sure, the Corey's by name is Lucky, and the reason that calls me Lucky is cause I got all of this money. And the reason I got all of this money is because I sells me gold on Dale Road. Sell your gold on Dale Road. Sell your gold on Dale Road. Mr. Pond buys gold on Dale Road. Mr. Pond buys gold on Dale Road. 
Sell your gold on Dale Road. Sell your gold on Dale Road.